But yeah, let's cut to like when you were with the Queens of the Stone Age and you were only singing like a few songs a night. What was that like touring and just being in that? I mean, because Rated R was that, that was the first album you went with, went with with them, right? Rated R, was that it? On the very, the last tour that they did on that record, I, I went out with them. And then that's I, a great record, Rated R. That's when I discovered them. Yeah. Nicotine, Volume, Psychedelics, Marijuana. Anyway, that one, I love that. That's a blues song. It's a good record. Yeah. yeah. I like, I think I was on all of the records except for the last one and the first one. Mm -hmm. And what was it like touring with them and only singing a few songs? Did you like that? Or was that, did that drive you crazy? At first it was like, what? This is weird. Yeah. You know, and just doing a third of the songs. And then you realized you were the king of the castle because you just, like. Dude, it was the best job ever. Right. I, I fell right into it. it was That's like, amazing. I was so I was so bummed when I got fired. <laughs> How'd you get fired? I uh, thought you quit. Nah, I, I, uh, it was by mutual agreement. Right. Well, it ran its course, probably. That was it. Yeah. You know, I mean, it was something that I couldn't, it's, it's not something you can sustain forever, the guest singer. Yeah. But It's cool that it lasted as long as it did. I always thought that was cool. When it was the three of us, when it was me, Nick, and Josh doing mm -hmm. like a third of the set every night, yeah, that was it was a special thing. Then I mean, it's still special. It's great. They're yeah, one of the one of the best bands I've ever seen and been lucky enough to be part of. But um, mm -hmm. but yeah, when it was when it was set up like that, it was then it, then it made sense. Yeah, but uh, it was too easy you know what I mean like I realized that I needed to because Ex expand I needed to do something else you know yeah